What does Claremore and Rogers County offer that no other small community does? I think the welcoming spirit of the people, whether it's church or stores. I mean, I know all the people in, in the grocery stores and a lot of them in Walmart and that's a big place. And uh, they're all friendly. It, it, the people are just friendly. I know you are volunteering to help with the interviews for the Museum of History's Voices of Claremore. Why do you think the Claremore Museum of History is important? Oh, I, I worried about what was going to happen to Judy Eagleton's stuff. <laughs> but I am so happy that the Claremont Museum of History has been welcomed with the way that it has been welcomed and that they have been able to do the things that they do. And this, I think, gives an opportunity for people to tell their story. And I think the Claremont Museum of History has a, has a future that there's probably not space for over there. I don't know how you add to that building. <laughs> but, but I, and I love the work that they've done. And to think that it started out as nothing but volunteers. Well, I, I will tell you that when I came here, I thought that this was the end of the world. I was leaving all the things that had been so important to me. My aunt and uncle that I had seen regularly uh, for years, I'd lived with them when I went to college. I went to college at Coffeyville Community College, which is still very special to me, although my resources go to Roger State University. I, I am so glad that I accepted what was waiting for me here. It was the great place to raise children by myself. Their father was either in the military, gone someplace else working, or, or we divorced. Tandy's teacher, Irene Jones, had the biggest impact on his life of anyone. And I, I treasure, I treasure those people that impacted the life of my children. The people that helped me, I worked on Saturday in the daycare. Mildred Warden took care of my kids from the beginning, but she wasn't open on Saturday, so I had to forage around for daycare on Saturday. So I can't even tell you the number of people, but they're still my friends that helped me out on Saturdays. And I don't know that there's any place else you could get that kind of, of love. I, I think I see this a, as a community of love. And I still, these people are still my friends. I, I, still, I, I still treasure, treasure those friends. And the people, the people in the business here. The first person I met here, and I think I'd have to give him a lot of credit for what happened, but the first person that I met when I went to work at the Claremont Progress was Richard Legate. And if there was anyone that could tell you all the wonderful things about Claremont, it'd be Richard. And he became my very closest friend. And we saw each, we had coffee every day. He and his wife were, if my kids were involved in something, they were there. If their kids were involved in something, I was there. And I love their daughters to this day. And they loved my sons and looked after them just like they would of their own children. And I, I don't know that I would have, my, and I have one sister, she lived in Oklahoma City, wanted me to move there. And I thought their life is so different from my boys. And I'm so glad that I didn't fold and move away because it was the perfect place to raise two sons.